Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This video is in partnership with Exuviance. They are the originators of the glycolic peel. For the past six weeks, twice a week, I have been using their performance peel AP25. I did not know if I could even use it at first because I have very sensitive skin. I do have rosacea. I was a little bit nervous. I talked about it on Instagram. I know a lot of you are probably over here from Instagram. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this peel and just the results that I've gotten and just my experience. So I'm also gonna share with you how you can participate in a six week My AHA Peel Challenge and receive some free gifts and possibly get $100 off your next purchase from Exuviance. So first off, this is a 25% peel that contains, I'm gonna read some things because I don't wanna leave out anything, glycolic, mandelic, and polyhydroxy acids. So it's a skin exfoliator that is supposed to brighten and smooth and firm and refine the skin. This package opens up like a book and you'll see your peels inside here. There is a step one activator pad and then a neutralizer pad as well. And I'm gonna actually show you exactly what I did. I had to hold my phone up and just show you what I was doing because my tripod wasn't cooperating with me. So first you cleanse your face with just your regular cleanser and effective cleanser, just like you normally would for your nighttime routine. And then you take the step one activator pad over your entire face and you don't take it over your eyes or your lips or anywhere you're super sensitive. I didn't have any issues on any part of my face. I could bring it over every single part of my face except my eyes and my lips. You're just not supposed to bring it over those parts. You can also use this on your chest and on the backs of your hands. I did also use this on the backs of my hands. So I have some befores and afters of that area as well for you guys. Then you throw away the pad once you're done with that step. You wanna pay attention to whether you feel any itching or tingling or stinging or burning or tightness or peeling or anything that's just overall uncomfortable during this process. Peels do typically have a little bit of a sensation to them. I did feel a little bit, but it wasn't uncomfortable at all. And you can leave it on up to 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes or sooner, if you're feeling some bothersome redness or discomfort or anything like that, you're gonna take your neutralizer pad, which is step two, and you're just gonna apply this over your face, over the areas where you already took your activator pad. And then you're gonna rinse your face with water. And then after that, you're gonna apply a moisturizer. And that's it, it is so simple and I really, love how travel friendly these are too because I went on a business trip while I was doing this peel and I was able to just throw four of these into my bag and use them twice during that week. You can use this up to twice a week. You can use it once a week if that's what you feel is best for your skin or you can use it twice a week. I've been able to use them twice a week. I've never had a problem with my rosacea. I've never had a problem with the combination areas around the edge of my face that can kind of get a little bit dry when it's cold and we've had some cold days. They never got drier or anything like that. So in addition to what I said earlier about what the Performance Peel AP25 is supposed to do for the skin, it's also supposed to improve the skin texture and the tone and the pore size and to just deliver an overall radiance to the skin and improve the smoothness to the skin as well. I noticed a slight difference right after I started using it, but from being beginning to now, I definitely noticed that my skin does look more refined. The tone looks better. It feels super smooth. I mean, super smooth. And that's something I can't convey <laughs> across the camera. Obviously, you can't reach through and feel my skin, but it just feels smooth. There's no texture to my skin whatsoever. And I definitely felt like before I started, I definitely had kind of some texture, just small bits of texture. And now I just feel like it's so smooth. And in the mornings when I wake up after, I just look in the mirror and I'm always so amazed, like what is happening with this thing? So I have never done any kind of a glycolic peel because I've always been a little leery of glycolic acids in the first place because my skin has always been so sensitive. And I was really scared of this. I think I said that in the beginning because I just assumed I was gonna get a huge rosacea flare up and that it was gonna tear my skin up. The first day that I used this, I woke up the next morning and my skin looked so bright and radiant and it felt so smooth. I was so excited, but you know, that was only the first time. So there's more times and I just wasn't sure if something was gonna happen over time. The more I kept using it, 
the better my skin kept looking. I just, I can't get over how good it feels. Now am I gonna have moments where I have texture on my skin? Of course, because I try so many different products. But as far as the Exuviance Performance Peel AP25 <laughs> working extremely well for my skin, better than what I thought it would, it absolutely has. And so I <laughs> have been thrilled with this. And I feel like I'm at a point where I could probably go to once a week and maintain the results that I've gotten. And I may be able to increase the results even more if I continue with twice a week. I don't know. I just was not expecting to get the results that I got. And I almost kind of felt like because I didn't get extreme sensitivity when I used it, it didn't really burn. I didn't feel any major stinging that I wasn't going to get great results maybe. I just wasn't really expecting to see that much. So I feel like I'm able to wear less foundation now than I have before. And I was never a heavy foundation wearer before. Like I don't wear full coverage foundation, but now I'm finding I can reach for even less foundation than before. My tone is more even, my skin looks more radiant, it feels smooth, it just looks healthier, I guess, is what I would say. And I also felt like on my hands, they were looking kind of crinkly, wrinkly, probably from how much driving I do. And I feel like they look so much softer as well. That was kind of a spur of the moment decision for me to try it on my hands. And I've been super pleased with that. I mean, you can only do so much, I feel like, with your hands because you don't do your facial skincare on your hands. And I'm thrilled with what is going on with my hands as well. So I'm definitely going to keep using it on my hands. So that is it. I mean, the results are here. You can see them. This has worked for me extremely well and I'm thrilled that I tried it. We as creators sometimes never would try things if we aren't approached by brands like this. And I'm excited that I was approached by Exuviance to try this out and to report back to you guys. If you guys do want to try this out, you can do the My AHA Peel Challenge. I'm going to leave a link down below with my code Stephanie where you can get some free gifts and you can enter the challenge for a chance to win $100 towards your next Exuviance purchase. I just, I'm, I'm just beyond thrilled with this. If you have tried this, if you've tried other Exuviance products or anything like that, leave that in the comments down below. Or if you're going to participate in the challenge, I would love to know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.